Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a fruit sandwich, otherwise known in Japan as a fruit sando. Now I first learned about, well I actually knew about fruit sando for quite a while since I live in Japan, that was the first time I saw them and they're exactly what you probably think they are, they're sandwiches made with fruit in them. Which might sound a little bit unusual, but when I describe it, you'll just say, that sounds delicious. So it just consists of two pieces of bread, white bread, square, known as shokupan in Japan. Lovely, fluffy, slightly chewy bread. And in between, you've got some sweetened whipped cream and slices of fruit. If I were to think of an analogy, it's basically the sandwich version of an angel food cake whipped cream strawberry in a sandwich form. Right? Sounds great. Now the particular version I'm going to be making was inspired by Taste Made Japan. I will put a link down below to their video. Loads and loads of my lovelies sent me this video asking me to make it, but I've been waiting till summertime here in New England when fruits were actually in season so I could make the panoply of fruits involved in this particular version of fruit sando. Now what makes this version of fruit sando unique is that when you cut the sandwich in cross section, it reveals the fruit arranged in flower patterns. So lovely. This recipe also uses shokupan, which is the white bread of Japan. It's well well, well loved, it's delicious. It's a little bit different than white bread you would find in the US because it's perfectly square, it's cut much thicker, and has this soft yet nice chewy texture. So not as kind of spongy and melt away as white bread here is in the US, it's got a little bit more chew to it. So shokupan is difficult to find here unless you live near a Japanese market, which I don't, so I'm gonna be making a little substitution, and I'm gonna be using this. This is Texas toast. This is white bread in a square form and it's cut much thicker. Of course, this is going to be a little bit different than shokupan, but I think it's going to make a reasonable substitute. This is relatively simple, but there is a lot of preparation. So we need to prep all of our fruit. Mandarin, tangerine, super straightforward. We're just going to peel this one. And we're going to use the whole fruit in this sandwich to remove any of the furries. I'm going to put all my scraps in this bowl. We're big on composting here, so that's going to go in the compost pile. Next, we're going to do the strawberry. Now, this is Ichigo, and it's going to look a bit like a tulip. We're going to remove the green portion, and we're just going to cut out two little Vs out of this. So that's the tulip. Next, we're going to take our green kiwi and peel it. Did you know that apparently you can eat the skin of a kiwi? I've never done it. I don't know, it just seems too fuzzy to me. But apparently it's completely edible. I mean, I eat the skin of a peach. I mean, what's wrong with a kiwi? I, don't know, I guess I just always have peeled it. And now we're going to slice it. This is gonna be the stalk of our flowers. Look how beautifully green that is. Now we're taking the yellow kiwi and we're gonna peel this one too. These ones are not as fuzzy as the green ones. Now this one we're gonna cut in the cross section. So beautiful. Now we're gonna take our mango. Not surprisingly, we're gonna peel it. My mother loves mangoes. In fact, when she was pregnant with my brother, she would eat entire flats of mango. Like in one sitting, she would eat so many mangoes. My younger kiddo takes after his grandmother because he can <laughs> eat so many mangoes. He loves them so much. Slice along the pit here. Oh, look at that. Perfect mango, so beautiful. Don't throw this away. I love sucking on the pit of the mango. There's lots of fruit here and down here. So. But I'll wait till I'm finished before I do that. So in the video, they have this beautiful little sunflower kind of cookie cutter. But since I'm really limiting my shopping, I'm going to use one of the cookie cutters that I have. I think I'm going to go with the Sakura little flower right here. It's right down the middle. So there are our mango flowers. And then I'm going to cut these pieces and we're going to use those as well. A few grapes to make leaves. And these are really simple, you just cut them in half. Doop, doop. Fruit is prepped, now we must make our cream. So I've got a chilled bowl here. 
cartons. Why? Garden push up here. I'm pushing up. I am. Okay, good. 200 milliliters or about one cup of heavy whipping cream. Blah, 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 blah. Next, I'm gonna add 30 grams of sugar, and this is about two tablespoons. Now we're gonna beat that to soft peaks. Here we go. That happened pretty quickly. An equal amount of marscapone cheese, which while it looks like cream cheese is very different than cream cheese. It's got much more of a kind of heavy cream, rich flavor to it. It's delicious. 200 grams of that. Beat that up some more. Whoa. Then increase the speed. Okay. That looks gorgeous. Okay, so we whip that up. Now we have this gorgeous, luscious cream. Get yourself some cling film. And we're going to put it on our cutting board and take a piece of our bread right there. A dollop of this gorgeousness and boop it right there. Boop. Smear that all around. The trick to the sandwich is that we're going to be cutting the sandwiches on the bias. So we're going to arrange all the fruit on the bias or on the diagonal from here to here. We're going to begin with the strawberry tulip and we're going to nestle it right here. Grape slices. This is going to be the leaf. Some more of our cream. Put this in there. Kiwi. I'm going to place that right there. That's going to be the stem. Cream. Grape. More cream. Take another piece of bread right on top. Press. Now we're going to wrap this up. Now this is important. We're going to mark which direction we arrange things. Dink like that. So that when we cut it, we cut it in the right direction. So we're going to chill this for 20 minutes. Why does it have to stick? Bloop. The slice of mango up here. And then I'm going to take a whole grape and nestle it right there. And I'm going to put another mango right there. More cream. This is where we're going to use those little scrap pieces of mango and stick them on the side here. Kind of shore things up and then also give us a mango bite on the sides. Next piece of bread right on top of this. That's going to be tall. Same thing. I'm going to wrap it up. Boop. Dollop. Red grapes. One. Two, grape for leaf, cream, another grape on top. Okay, mango, mango, boop, right there. And this is G for grape. Let's do the orange next, red. Oops, don't get so crazy, Emmy. Now we're gonna take our orange that we peeled, place that right there, so cute. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use a whole grape for this one. More cream. Kiwi slice. <laughs> okay, so this one needs to be cut this way, and this is O for orange. So what we do is we take our kiwi slices and arrange them in a line, and then we're gonna take a little bit of our cream and smear it along the slices. <laughs> Easier said than done. Easier said than done. There's a rosette. Place it on here. Okay, mound this on top of this. Top it with another slice of bread. And you know the rest. Doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna cut again this way. K for kiwi into the refrigerator for 20 minutes and then we'll come back and cut these and see if we reveal some beautiful flowers. It better, it better. <laughs> Alrighty, see you in a bit. Alrighty, my lovelies, we are back. It has been 20 minutes. Let us cut into our sandwiches. Alrighty, here we go. Right on the line. Alrighty, you ready for this reveal? Alright, here we go. Strawberry. <laughs> Look, it turned out beautifully. I am so happy. Strawberry sandal. It's 
so cute. Ichigo Sando, perfect. <sighs> All right, I hope the other ones turned out just as nicely, but we'll find out. Okay, remove, of course, remove it from the plastic. I'm gonna put it on my serving dish. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy about this. Mango, the mango one. didn't turn out perfectly. But not bad. Still pretty cute. Looks kind of like daffodils or something. This is recording? <gasps> Why? I turned it on. Alrighty, I'm sorry for the terrible audio, but we are back. So, now we're going to cut into the grape. Oh. <laughs> this one needs to go onto the right side. That one turned out so cute. Oh, I'm so happy about this. This is turning out perfectly. Mm, I love it. My rainbow is coming together. I love it, I love it, I love it. O is for orange. Orange. Oh, so cute. <laughs> It's so sunny and cheery. Oh, I love it. Whoever thought of this, genius. You are a genius. So stinking cute. Love that. Ugh. You know, the reason why I get so excited and happy about this is a lot of effort goes into this. And if it fails, that means I have to do it again. And that's frustrating. So when it works, I'm always so happy. Ugh. Okay. Lastly, we have the yellow kiwi. Now this one, we made a little rosette. So I'm curious to see if the rosette will show up when we cut the kiwi one. Ta-da! Oh, it turned out, but it's probably the least successful. So we can take a knife here and kind of scrape it, and then that will smooth out any of the cream that's got on the fruit when I was cutting. So that's a nice little tip. Just scrape it. Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, look how gorgeous these look. I am so, so pleased. They look so great and it is so satisfying to cut them and then to open them to reveal the beautiful flower inside. So, so pleased. I think for payoff, I think the tangerine is probably in terms of bounds of simplicity and look is just, just, the winner here. The strawberry is pretty cute too. The others, the the grape one is pretty cute, stinking cute. The kiwi, it looks fine, but it's certainly not worth all the trouble of rolling up and stuff. The mango is beautiful, it has a gorgeous color. I just wish my second mango flower was whole. But alas, this is the first time and I'm still very pleased. Now, let's give these a taste. So each sandwich has two halves, so I've got another plate here that I'm going to sample from. Let's try the strawberry one first because strawberry ichigo is my favorite. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Delicious. And I have to say the Texas toast is a good substitute for shokupan in this recipe. You get that full bite as you would get in shokupan. The texture is a little bit different, but it's still a very good substitute. Very plain, very simple. Shokupan is a little bit sweeter, but it totally works. The whipped cream in here is so good. That combination of rich mascarpone cheese with whipped cream with just a touch of sweetness is so so nice. The mascarpone gives it a little bit more substance. It's not just kind of airy and foamy. It's got a little bit more heft to it. And it's creamy, it's rich. The amount of sweetness is perfect for me. It's very light. It's not like a cheesecake, but it has that kind of richness of cheesecake. Delicious. And then you've got the Ichigo, the little tangy strawberry right at the top, which right now are totally in season here. Lovely. Alrighty, let's try the mango one. Here we go. Mm. Did you see the juice squirt out of that when I bit into it? Delicious. Mangoes also are in season right now. Juicy, succulent, tangy, wonderful combination 
with the whipped cream. So the combination of fruit and lightly sweetened whipped cream is very popular in Asia. You'll see in a lot of bakeries, they offer that kind of cake where the topping is just lightly sweetened whipped cream and then adorned with all kinds of fruit. Classic combination. This is delicious. Let's taste this side so we can get a bit of the kiwi. Mmm. Mmm. I like the kiwi. It has a little bit of tartness in it. Goes really well with the sweet and light whipped cream. Okay, let's try the buro or the grape one. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. The grape has a really nice mouthfeel. It's succulent and juicy, and so when you bite it, it kind of bursts with lovely sweetness. It's great. And then I've got a little bit of mango in there too. Delicious. Let's try the yellow kiwi. Mmm! That yellow kiwi is sweeter. I think it was also a little bit riper than the green kiwi. So you've got that nice little sweetness along with that tartness and the little nice pleasant crunch of the seeds in kiwi. Love that. Alrighty, let's try the mandarin orange. I think this one's gonna be the most difficult to eat, but let's give it a go. Here we go. Mm. Definitely the hardest to eat because the piece of fruit was so large and so juicy. I think I like that combination the least, but I'm not a huge fan of citrus and dairy together. All in all, absolutely delightful. It is so much fun to cut these open and have the big reveal. So I think in terms of flavor combination, the strawberry one is my favorite. I think it elicits that response of like, oh, strawberry shortcake, whipped cream, strawberries and cream. So because I have that combination, in my past history and experience, I find I like that one most, although all the other ones are delightful as well. Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, there you have it. That's how you make the beautiful fruit sando sandwich that reveals a gorgeous fruit flower inside when you open it. Big thanks to all of you who suggested that I make this, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.